A few miles from the beaches of the Costa Blanca, framed between the Mediterranean Sea and the mountain ranges of southern Alicante, lies Elondo, a very special wetland within the context of European wildlife. It was declared a natural park in 1994. The habitats contained in this protected territory are dominated by shallow waters that receive a high degree of insulation and therefore boast the highest of nutrient production rates. This environment contrasts heavily with the surrounding semi-arid landscapes, making Alondo a haven with enormous natural value that manifests itself in its rich biodiversity and in particular, its exuberant bird life. Elondo's location on the Mediterranean Migratory Corridor makes the rich resources of this wetland available to the millions of birds that use this route in their seasonal movements between Eurasia and Africa. For all these reasons, hundreds of thousands of individuals of up to 200 species of birds find in Elondo a very important locality for their survival. During winter, Bird concentration in Alondo reaches its peak. All these birds have been arriving since autumn, fleeing from the low temperatures, the snow and the ice that now cover the boreal reaches of the northern hemisphere. The mild climatic conditions of the Costa Blanca keep the waters of Alondo free of ice the whole year round, and under their surface lies a silt substrate that is rich in organic material and is inhabited by the many invertebrates that compose the food source of most aquatic birds. The shallow nature of these lagoons favours the foraging of its resources in their whole extension, making its nutrients available to a huge range of bird species. Waders, a group of birds that specialise in this type of environment, are long-distance migrants. About 40 species have been recorded in Alondo. They tend to concentrate on shores and shallow waters, extracting invertebrates at different depths according to their bill and leg length. Ducks are expert swimmers that rarely abandon the water. Their diet consists mainly of plant material, supplemented with small invertebrates. Surface feeding ducks only immerse their heads when feeding, so they tend to forage in shallow waters. Diving ducks can reach the lake bottom in deeper waters. This allows them to exploit an environment that is inaccessible to the surface feeding species. The white-headed duck, a resident in Elondo, has acquired specialized tail feathers, more adapted to diving than to flight itself. Alondo is home to one of the largest reproductive populations of this species in the world, its current worldwide status being endangered. Only a few decades ago, the Spanish population was critically threatened itself, barely totaling about 20 pairs. Its breeding success in this wetland has been decisive for the survival of the Western European population, limited to a few localities in the south of the Iberian Peninsula. Birds that feed on fish form a trophic group with very diverse lineages. Purple gallinules feed on aquatic plants. Their huge beak and surprising dexterity allow them to manipulate and grind the toughest reeds, a resource that no other bird can exploit. 
flamingos with their extremely long legs and neck and thanks to their highly specialized filtering beak can extract microorganisms at many depths. Spoonbills use their unique bill to probe the lake bottom. Its shape is highly efficient extracting a wide range of prey. Great white egrets take advantage of the spoonbill feeding frenzy, taking the fish that are stirred by them. Glossy ibis are typically found along the tropical zones worldwide. It is also a resident breeder in Alondo. Passerine songbirds exploit two types of resources. Insect eaters take advantage of the abundance of invertebrates in this wetland despite it being winter. Seed eaters include buntings and finches. Such an abundance of wintering birds constitutes in itself the richest of food resources, and this attracts another group of winter visitors, birds of prey, that concentrate in Alondo with densities of individuals and species that are unusual for any European locality or ecosystem. From the highest points, at least three species of eagles watch carefully. Booted eagles, a species that winters almost exclusively in Africa, does so exceptionally also in the Mediterranean coastline of Spain, especially in the Costa Blanca, and with a certain predilection for Elondo, where it is quite abundant. Bernelli's eagles inhabit and nest in nearby mountain ranges. During winter, some of the immature individuals visit wetlands that are rich with prey. Great spotted eagles have reached Alondo from much further away. Their breeding range is an immense area that reaches from Eastern Europe to the Pacific Ocean. Elondo is one of very few regular wintering sites for this species in the whole of Western Europe, where its presence is extremely rare. As springtime arrives, while the resident birds get ready for the breeding season, two new avifauna that arrive from Africa substitute the wintering birds that now depart. On the one hand, the species that are on passage to their northern European nesting sites. They will stay in Alondo anything from a couple of days to a few weeks, regaining strength and body weight for the long trip ahead. On the other hand, the breeding species. These will nest in the different habitats that conform Elondo. Its extensive reed beds form an ideal refuge for nesting, and its two species of warblers, the reed warbler and the great reed warbler, that tend to arrive first. Their calls will now dominate the soundscape of the whole wetland, together with that of the moustached warbler, a resident breeder in Elondo. More species of herons now arrive from Africa to join the local resident ones. The palm tree groves that surround Elondo are a favourite site for the European roller. They nest in existing holes or abandoned nest holes. By summer, a new generation of birds has appeared on the waters of Elondo. Whilst the great majority of chicks depend on their parents to feed them, ducks are precocial birds. Just a few hours after hatching, they are already swimming about and foraging by themselves. Always under the watch of their vigilant mothers. Marble teal also breed in Alondo. This is another species of waterfowl that is endangered globally. 
Elondo, once again, is home to the species' largest breeding population in Europe. For this family, it's time to take a nap. The afternoons are very warm now, and general activity reaches a minimum in the whole wetland. Activity will resume during the afternoon and extend into the night, a favourite time for foraging and feeding for many species of birds, including flamingos that have flown hundreds of miles to feed in the waters of what is, undoubtedly, this natural jewel of the Costa Blanca.